Okay, class, I will be taking attendance now. Um, can everybody get seated, please? Okay, I'll start in alphabetical order, all right? Alan. Alex. Brian. Hastings. Jackson. Mason. Zach. Zariah. Who was that? I didn't call your name. I'm so sorry. Are you a new addition to this class? Oh, how lovely. Okay. Thank you so much. I have you penciled in right here. So, I'm Mrs. Lumi, and today you are in my architectural art class. Yes, today we are going to be drawing places. Very exciting. So buildings, you know, you can do skyscrapers, a location that you love, etc. Do you have any experience uh, with art? If you have none, that's totally okay. This is a very beginner friendly class. Okay, lovely. Now that we have the attendance all in order, let's get everybody situated with their materials. So does everyone have a art mug? Yes, we're going to be painting today, so it is very beneficial to have an art mug. And do you have a number two pencil? We're going to use the number two pencils for outlines and I will be looking at your work, okay? So, everybody good? Good, excellent, okay. Let me put this away. Okay. So, everybody start sketching. Think of a place that you really, really like and I will go around and help you any way that I can, okay? All right, excellent. Since you're new, let's see what you've got. Oh, this is a lovely outline. It looks like the, you're drawing a castle. Oh yes, I see the pillars are very nice. I see it's like, straight lines and of course the triangular top remember you should give it dimension and shading so when you start painting make sure to look at that okay okay great so yeah right here you could just go like this yeah perfect that looks great now you try Excellent, excellent. Okay, well you're doing lovely. I'm going to check everybody else in the class as well. Alright class, I'm going to give you a pin if I think your outline is complete. So I'm going to walk around with these pins, okay? Be careful, they are sharp. So after I pin your workstation, Please do not, I repeat, do not touch them, okay? I don't want anyone to get hurt. All right. Your art look looks very, very good and almost complete. I see you've been working hard. Oh, you knew the assignment, so you did some extra preparation. Wonderful, wonderful. We really, really like that. Okay, I'm going to pin your art piece since I think you're ready to start with the base, okay? How about you? Okay, looks like they're ready as well. Excuse me. What what color would you like? I have blue, green, white, red, and yellow. Oh, you want blue. Of course. I love blue, as you can tell. Let me pin that for you. Mm -hmm. See what I get. Okay, 
okay workstation pin and it looks like everybody in the class is almost finished with their outlines very good does anyone need help do you want me to take a look at your outline again oh good you've made some progress oh you added some trees and grass and you know a little shrubbery oh that is so gorgeous let me let me pin this up for you You don't mind if I use yellow, right? Everyone has to get a different color. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to go around and pass out some art supplies, okay? We'll start out with some basic watercolors. There's black, blue, red, orange, yellow, blue, green. I think one of these is purple. It's always very hard to tell in this color palette. You'll see more once you wet your brush in the mugs provided. This one's mine. So what you would do is you would wet your brush. And on the lid, you will use it as your palette. Let's see. This is surprisingly a green. And if you want to get rid of the paint color, you just make sure to thoroughly cleanse it in your mug, okay? Great. All right, I'm going to walk around now. Everybody make sure to grab your materials and I'm going to pass them out, okay? One for you, and one for you, one for you, and you, and you. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a beautiful artwork. Okay. Looks like everybody has got their art supplies. And... Let's get started, okay? I will come around and help make any adjustments if I think they're needed. If you don't want me to touch your artwork, that's totally fine as well, okay? Okay, let's see here. Hmm. Do you mind? I think I can help you with a little bit of shading technique. I'll only do a little bit, so you can do the rest, okay? All right, so first you want to make these kind of brush strokes. Yes, that gives the tree nice, like, zigzaggy dimension. It looks very good this way. Good, good. Okay, now you try. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so I see shading here. Much better, much better. How's everyone else doing? Good, good. Did you learn that technique? Awesome. Now, there are a few brushes that I provide for you. The smaller brush is good for small details. Makes sense, right? Okay. I'm going to just help you out with a few things. What you're using right now is a lot of very concentrated color. And in order to create that shading effect, you can actually just add some water. Okay, I'm going to just... Lovely, I love the skyscraper that you have going on over there. How are you liking the class so far? Now, don't worry if you don't think if you enjoy it, you can tell me. Oh, you do? That's so wonderful. Okay, um, oh, you're making a farm? I love farms. I've always wanted to live on one. Have horses and cows and 
What? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I ramble. Oh, you want me to help you with that? Okay, our advanced students are currently using acrylics. So a lot of them are holding a spatula looking tool. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> that is what they're supposed to be doing. How are you holding up, Jackson? Oh, good. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to help Jackson He's right behind you real quick. Just going to use this carving tool. Uh, Jackson, you put so much paint on one spot again. Sorry, give me one second. Looks like I have to do some artwork. <laughs> artwork on buttons. Excuse me. Jackson, seriously, stop doing that. There's always one of them in a class, huh? Okay, Jackson, I think you're taken care of. Now back to you. Why, I have to say, I'm very impressed with your artwork so far. Do you have any questions for me? Oh. What shade should, I, should you make? The, the water? Interesting. Okay. Wow, you're very, very ambitious. Uh, water is a very hard medium to portray, so let's see what I can do. What I would do for water is use a lot of whites and blues. You know, water is blue, but the white and the reflection is something that you should be focusing on. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna look at the bottom. That's where. Okay. Let's get started with the water. I'm going to use this brush. It has a finer. Let me just show you before I get it wet. It has finer bristles. Finer bristles means less texture and we want the texture of the water to be as clear as possible. Clear as day. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, wet our brush. Okay, add some of that blue color. See that blue color? And now we're going to So we first paint a very thin layer, a very, very thin layer of paint. And it's going to be super, 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 super clear looking, which is the idea. And then you add little details with the white. I'm going to be going around the class again to make sure that everybody has completed what they need to today. Has anyone finished with their artwork? Okay, I'm going to come around and just make sure everybody is on track. All right, good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, excellent, good. Okay, good. Everybody has completed the majority of the assignment. So, for those who use different mediums, mediums, medium, mediums, <laughs> which medium did you like the best? Did you like the outlining part? Or did you like acrylic paint or watercolor. It looks like our newest student used acrylics as well as watercolor. That's very clever. 
me look at this. Okay. Okay, for the folks that used acrylics, you're going to need to have a finishing um, brush with uh, finishing oils and such in order to lock in your painting. So for those who need that, please let me know. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to just clean out the brush. Okay, so I will do this for you. Um, I don't want the colors to bleed everywhere, so I have a technique that I use that allows your artwork to be covered, so I'm just going to go around. Of course, new, new classmate, I'm going to pick on you. Your drawing, your artwork is truly amazing. I really love what you did, and it would be a complete honor to finish up your artwork for you with that protective coat. Okay. I'm going to get started with you first, okay? Excellent. It looks wonderful. Um, now is a really good time to fan it a little. So I'm just going like that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, everybody. Now that you've seen me do the finishing touches on our newcomer's artwork, can everybody else also grab their finishing brush and seasoned students of mine, please make sure to get that started and I will come around to help anybody else who needs help. Okay, you need help. Bring it over, bring it over here. And oh, he need help too? You should know how to do this. Excellent, excellent. Okay, well, it looks like everybody did so wonderful today. It was a really quick lesson. Are you sure you've never taken art before? Oh, you have. You're just new to this class. I see, I see, I see. Okay, remember everyone, the winner gets their artwork framed and hung up. So I'm going to give you a little clippy if I think your art deserves it. Now, remember, everyone's art is perfect and unique to them. It's just, we usually have like an employee of the month day. So it's always nice to switch it around. All right. Perfect. Also, if you did well, you will receive either a smiley face of your choice or a star. So let me know what you want, okay? What'd you like? Let me see your artwork first. Bring it here. That is adorable. You made a little bouncy house. Well, what do you want? Smiley faces or stars? What do you think they want? A smiley face? Okay. So, you can help me pick one for them. Okay, green. Alright, here you go. Okay, and you? Yeah, we have a rather small class, so it's nicer that way. That way I get to know all my students. Okay, you want the pink one? Okay. And how about you? You like the yellow smiley faces? 
they remind you of Walmart stickers. Well, that's very nostalgic, is it not? Okay, for you, I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. Oh, some people want stars. What color? Orange. Orange is a great color. Okay, I'm just gonna put it right here. You want a star too, turquoise? No problem, no problem. Here you go. Oh, you're quite tall. I'm down a little. Take pity on me. Okay, there you go. All right. And what would you like? Saving the best for last. <laughs> More like saving the newest for last, but okay. You want a smiley face too? Okay, feel free to pick. <gasps> you like that guy? Oh no, this one. Okay. This one looks super happy, so you're going to put it right on your forehead. <laughs> it looks great. I love that on you. Ooh. Excuse me. Okay, can I see your artwork? Let me see it again because I wanted to show the class. you. Oh, wow. Everybody, look at our newest student's artwork. You did a great job with the water. I'm so glad you joined this class. The clouds look so pretty. The finishing oil is still kind of thick over here. But other than that, since that was my fault, we can definitely like rub that away a little bit. Art is amazing. I love this so much. I mean, if you only took one art class before this, you have talent for sure. Thank you so much. Oh, you signed the back. Very good. Next time, be careful though. I do see a lot of your fingerprints all over this. Well, Everybody did so good that I don't know who to choose for the winner. You know what? Since you're new, I really hope you come back. And I'm officially dubbing you as the winner. Everybody clap. Okay, well, here you go. I'm going to clip up your artwork. And we're going to hang it up, okay? Maybe here. Hmm. That's not working. Maybe. Maybe right here. Excellent. Okay. Well, class is over. We'll be having class again um, next Friday. So don't forget, I also have clay workshops on every Tuesday. So if you want to come by sometime, please, please do come by for our clay workshop on a special Tuesday. Okay, class, it's time to go, even though I really want you to stay and create more art with me. Okay, yes, I can't wait to see you again. Bye. Thank you to my YouTube members, Allison Drake, Elijah Rivas, Neon Khan ASMR, Stuart Keylock, Be Funny But Kind, I really like ASMR, but my friends wouldn't understand, so I made this account, Pryon, Fukishi Miste, Lumi Star Number One Fan, Rennie, Lunar ASMR, Random User, Love is Dramatic, Shaggy Rubbers. Thank you so much. Thank you to my patron members, Greg, Connor, Tom Rack, Fed Shape Loot, Jagger, Jeff, Jennings as yet untitled, Que, Lovely Fox, 
Maddie Vibes, Melancholy Joker 19, Neon Con ASMR, Schmaltzy, Tim Heitzma, Elijah Pardita Rivas, James Fries, Ryan Burgess, Stephen Coakley, ASMR Shani, Austin, Lachity Bing Bing, Ratatata, and Rafi. Thank you.